good day everyone good afternoon uh, um, here sesh and i are here in in california um, it is a um, it is the day has been like a blur it is uh, um, a very uh, in many ways a sad day but i think also in many ways a um, a day that i hope will help uh, uh, clarify and improve things uh, as you know uh, I started three years ago, a little bit more than three years ago, uh, on this journey. And, uh, Infosys is more than a company; it is a, uh, it is an icon. It's an iconic institution. Um, it is an institution that is. Uh, I mean, I grew up um, looking up to, and uh, it was a dream that to be the CEO of, of Infosys. And so, when I started, uh, and at a time when uh, the IT industry and Uh, and Infosys in particular, um, both were uh, in a quite a uh, challenging uh, situation. And uh, uh, in this in this climate, I think uh, uh, with the strategy that we laid out, and with the especially with the execution that our team delivered, uh, I'm really proud of the results that we have achieved. Uh, we already achieved market leading growth in uh, in fiscal 16. 13.3 percent constant currency, and if you look at our performance in fiscal 17, uh, uh, with the exception of Cognizant, we were again industry leading. And if you discount, if you remove the inorganic component from Cognizant's revenue growth, then we were also again industry leading. Uh, and I'm really proud that because of the work that that Praveen and Ranga and Ravi and Mohit and the team did, the uh, our margin performance in all of this has been extraordinary. Um, last quarter we did 24.1 percent margin, which is the first time in five years that we have beaten our largest competitor uh, on margin. And uh, similarly, on on other metrics like revenue per employee, we have improved six six quarters in a row. And uh, on uh, especially because of the efforts of Ranga and, and our finance team, the uh, our cash generation has been extraordinary. When I started. The liquid assets of the company were 4.9 billion, and now they are at uh, approaching 6.1 billion. And this is despite the 20,000 crore rupees in dividends that we have done in the last three in the last three years. So I'm really proud of the achievements, uh, whether it is new services and new software, uh, or the innovation and the grassroots efforts that we have put together. So, so why are we here? Um, because I signed up for the disruption. I signed up for the technological change that needs to be done, the cultural transformation, the um, getting the company back to growth and to profitable growth, um, and and these are things that in this climate to transform the company. This is what uh, I came here for. It is in fact it was something that um, I felt was incredibly exciting um, and challenging, but exciting. And then over the last year, the uh, Some of the headwinds that we saw from the geopolitical situation and the uh, Brexit and uh, the visa situation and so forth, they further add to the to the headwinds, but they also add to the challenge and to, in some sense, to the excitement. And uh, Ravi Kumar and I were joking the other day, um, shortly after we opened the second of the centers in the U.S. in North Carolina, that look, this is a, uh, something that we have done. It is. Uh, It's a great new step. The challenging step, but it's a great new step to deal with the time. So that kind of a headwind that shows up, everybody has to deal with that. That is also something that we uh, that we can deal with. But what you, what I found, I got to the point was that it was difficult to deal with. Was the uh, sort of the continuous, uh, you know, allegations and continuous noise around the same things. The Rajiv Bansal separation and the Panaya this and the David Kennedy that and over and over and over again, uh, repeating the same things, getting them investigated multiple times from different organizations. At some point, you realize that this is taking a heavy toll on the organization. It is taking a heavy toll personally, and uh, uh, so I just felt that uh, I, you know, it is an untenable situation, and I don't want to do this anymore. And uh, Uh, it is also in the company's interest that, uh, with this kind of a change, 
we can make a fresh beginning and uh, and start all over again. So I got to that point a few days ago, and uh, uh, Sage has been here in in California uh, on a on some personal uh, matters, and uh, uh, so Sage and I spent a few times uh, talking about this, and I spoke to Ravi and uh, several of our board members, and uh, finally earlier today we came to this conclusion, and the board. Uh, proposed that I stay on as executive vice chair to help with the transition and help ensure that the the team is well established, that the continuity and the uh, in the succession that the uh, business does not suffer and and, and so forth. And so I am uh, really honoured to do that. And uh, so so effective today, Pavin is the managing director and CEO on an interim basis, and uh, I'm going to become executive VC, executive vice chair, and. Uh, I'm still here. I'm still an executive of the company, responsible for um, for. I'll particularly focus on on strategy and key client relationships, like Ravi said, um, and uh, and help Praveen and, the, and Ranga and Ravi and Mohit, Rajesh and the team in any way that I can, and uh, we'll uh, we'll take it from there. So um, I have no plans. I have no not thought about what I'm going to do next. Um, so I just don't want to. Before even we get there, I don't want to address anything there. I uh, I'm here until the uh, 31st of March of next year, or sooner if we manage to get a great team put together by then. And uh, um, so that's that's where we are. Otherwise, business continues as usual. And uh, we our team did an extraordinary job in Q1, and uh, uh, we are continuing that intense operational focus, the execution focus on Q2. This quarter that is currently underway, and we are going to keep that and continue that. And uh, as you heard uh, recently, yesterday or day before, I don't know when it was in India, uh, Ranga and the team have announced our that we got the approvals for the buyback and uh, as a part of the capital allocation policy that we had laid out earlier. Um, we are really excited about that. The board is going to get together on um, Saturday, uh, which is tomorrow India time, but uh, day after tomorrow for us. And uh, uh, going to work on that. So Ranga has been particularly been personally working extremely hard to get that done, and I'm really proud of the effort that the team has put together. So business and the execution of our work continues as usual, and uh, we are going to have a very smooth transition here.